Hello everyone, I hope you're doing fine. So in this video, we're going to see important topics for fluid mechanics as far as gate is concerned. So let's get started. And before we start, I would really appreciate it if you could smash that like button, drop me a comment and share this free program with anyone who might need it. So fluid mechanics, it can be broadly classified into open channel flow and other topics. So why open channel flow is very important is because it comprises of almost one third of all the questions asked from fluid mechanics. So if you have seen my uh, last video on gate strategy, you would have seen that uh, fluid mechanics, it consists of at least nine to 10 marks in gate. So we take gate for 100 marks and out of that, uh, 10 marks will come from fluid mechanics. So it is an important topic and in this open channel flow was important. So let us see the other important topics. So you can see that there are like around 13 topics and 13th topic is open channel flow and around 70 questions have been asked from it. The numbers on the right side, they indicate the number of questions asked from this and this data is up to 2018. So you can see that open channel flow, 70 questions have been asked and all the other topics combined, they have been asked around 141 questions. So uh, you can see that open channel flow, it easily compresses of one third. So if you are in a hurry and you want to just uh, touch certain topics of fluid mechanics, I would recommend you to go to dimensional analysis because it is very easy and you have like around uh, 10 to 15 formulas only to remember not much of a uh, concept oriented topic. Therefore, dimensional analysis is very easy for you if you are in a hurry and I would definitely recommend open channel flow because it is easy and also though it has a wide range of concepts, it is easy and you can easily score marks there. And next one I would recommend to uh, learn is fluid kinematics because again, it is not very concept oriented. It is mostly formula oriented. It will be easy for you. So if you're in a hurry, I would recommend you to uh, choose these three topics, dimension analysis, open channel flow and fluid kinematics. Say you have the time, then uh, you can go to uh, flow through pipes. Let me mark it in another color so that so if you have the time, you can go to flow through pipes. It is also very easy, but uh, it is a bit concept oriented. So if you have the time, you can go through uh, flow through pipes. So next, I would recommend you to learn fluid property and manometry because it is mostly comprising of vertical questions and basics of fluid mechanics. So this will be easy for you. And next would be boundary layer theory and drag and lift. It is a very small topic yet. Uh, many theory questions have been asked from it. So next I would recommend this and the other things you can learn them if you have the time. So this is a quick video on the important topics on fluid mechanics. I would recommend you to start with uh, the basics. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.